The Born Braves get back into the wing column in front of a massive July 5th crowd. Hello, everyone, and welcome into post-game Tomahawk Talk after the Bravos beat the Harwich Mariners 5-2. I'm Adam Gacken alongside Nathan Schwartz and Cam Manna. And Nathan, the pitching today was exceptional. Just one run given up by Ben Bybee. Chase Meyer comes out of the bullpen and shoves. And then John Abraham, his first appearance of the season, looked pretty good as well. And after the way the starting pitching has looked the last couple of days, getting those four and a third innings from Ben Bybee, absolutely crucial. Crucial, right and then the bullpen has just been stellar over the past week you see Chase Meyer he got the win in this game going two and two thirds scoreless and then John Abraham he gives up that solo home run in the ninth inning there but I thought he looked great after not having pitched in a couple of weeks since the College World Series and this is the pitching dominance that we've needed to see from this born staff yeah the bats came alive over the, over the last couple of days but the pitching kind of fell off the bats came back today as well with Clay Grady in the leadoff spot for the first time he was our player of the game so you'll hear from him in a little bit but he got on base in each of his plate appearances today that's exactly what you want from your leadoff man and we saw the RBI single we saw the hit last night with the RBI first two at bats were hits for Clay Grady and when Jack Penny left that was the question for the Braves who's your one hitter who's going to turn over this lineup and be a mainstay and Clay Grady Brady is that guy right now for the Braves and hitting the ball better, the speed on, on the base paths. And if things turn over where the heart of the order has been hitting, Clay Grady's a big spot you could see at number one for the remainder of the summer. And another thing offensively today, this team didn't just have one big inning. That's what we've seen a lot this season, but they scored two runs and then one and then one and then one. Just overall offensively throughout this entire game, the Bravos looked really good. Yeah, we're pretty sure it's the first the first time all summer that the Bravos scored in four consecutive innings and it didn't have to be the big inning tonight you know you got that big hit by Cam Kozel the RBI double he just missed a home run side note born still looking for its first home run here at home this summer but I think they'll settle for the five to one win and overall in my opinion their best win of the summer yeah definitely an all-around victory today for the Bravos well coming up we've got our interview with the player of the game Clay Grady we continue on here on post game Tomahawk Talk. Adam Gotkin now joined by today's player of the game, Clay Grady out of Virginia Tech. Clay, this is your first game in the leadoff spot. You go two for two with two walks. I think some would say that is the perfect leadoff game. Do you change your approach at all? And what do you do when you know that you're leading off a game? Yeah, no, I kind of try to do the same thing. Um, I've been working on my swing a little bit and my approach, um, trying to change things up from previous games, and it's been working a little bit. The field had some issues earlier today. We had a lot of rain at the shortstop position. Without I.O., does that change anything? What are those first couple innings like as you start to get used to the field? No, you just kind of have to prepare more on your own, um, you know, because we're not doing an organized pre preparation before the game. So you have to do more on your own. And, I mean, I felt fine and felt comfortable even out there in the conditions. This team, the past four games, has shown a lot of fight, battled back a lot. Do you feel like there's been any shift at all over the past couple games? You guys are starting to maybe gain some momentum? Yeah, I feel like we're coming together as a team. We've been playing well the past few games, and, I mean, we're just comfortable around each other now. And you guys had a great uh, start today, and the pitching staff all throughout did well. Offensively, you guys scored one run and a bunch of innings. How much does that help you guys just continue on and continue to just move across runs inning after inning when the pitching staff is doing so well? Yeah, as you said, it just helps the momentum better, um, helps the energy when you're coming off the field early and you get to get to your bat sooner. And um, as I said, we're just coming together fully as a team, pitching and offensively. All right, well, thank you very much, Clay. Yeah, thank you.